Exploring with the Estuarium. My name is Ariel and I'll be your educator. Today we're going to learn about endangered species and the ways we can help protect our plants and animals. After this lesson, you'll be able to answer what is an endangered species, why do we need to protect species, and how can we help endangered species. There are over 1,300 endangered species in the United States, and 31 of those species live in Washington. What is an endangered species? An endangered species is an animal or plant that is considered at risk of extinction. This means that the species is likely to become extinct throughout all or a large portion of their range if people do not step in to help. A threatened species is an animal or plant that is likely to become endangered in the near future. To help protect plants and animals from extinction, a species can be listed as threatened or endangered at the state, federal, and international level. When a species is listed at the federal level, it is protected under the Endangered Species Act. The act was passed by Congress in 1973 and gave the federal government the responsibility to protect endangered species, threatened species, and critical habitat. Critical habitat are areas vital to the survival of endangered or threatened species. The Endangered Species Act has lists of protected plants and animals from the United States and worldwide. When a species is listed as threatened or endangered, it receives special protections by the federal government. Listed animals are protected from take, trade, or being sold. The Endangered Species Act defines take as harassment, harm, pursuit, hunting, shooting, wounding, kill trapping, capture, collecting, or attempting to engage in any such behavior. Protected animals cannot be bothered or harmed in any way. Plants are protected if on federal property or if the federal government takes action, such as issuing a federal permit or conservation easement. The ESA also protects species' vital breeding and behavioral activities, such as migration or building of nests, and protects the degrading or destruction of critical habitat. The ESA was created to help species' populations become healthy and sustainable so that they no longer need help or interference from the federal government to survive. The two government agencies that help bring animals back from the brink of extinction are the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and NOAA's National Marine Fisheries Service. Once a species has gone extinct, there is no reset button. That is the end of existence for that species. The ESA is very important because it helps save our native fish, plants, and other wildlife from becoming extinct. Losing a species from the ecosystem can have negative impacts, causing a trophic cascade and disrupting the food chain. Some of the benefits of preserving threatened and endangered species are recreational viewing, ecotourism, providing cures for diseases, maintaining biodiversity in a balanced ecosystem, and improving overall quality of life. Due to the work of government agencies and the ESA, plants and animals have been saved from extinction. In the 1960s, the bald eagle was down to 500 individuals due to pesticides and chemicals. Now there are more than 7,000 eagles flying today. The gray wolf was once down to only a few hundred due to trapping and poisoning, and now there are over 8,000 wolves in the lower 48 states. The grizzly bear was reduced to less than 2% of its natural home range, and fewer than 250 grizzly bears lived in Yellowstone. Due to the ESA, and help from citizens, there are now more than 600 grizzly bears in Yellowstone, and approximately 600 more grizzly bears currently living in Montana and Washington. Let's take a closer look at some threatened or endangered species that call the Puget Sound home. Marbled murrelets are threatened birds that spend a majority of their life on the ocean and come inland to nest in old growth forests. In Washington, their nests have been found 50 miles inland from the coast. The amount of suitable habitat for the murrelets have declined primarily due to commercial timber harvest. The loss of habitat, predation, gillnet fishing operations, oil spills, marine pollution, and disease threaten marbled murrelet populations. The main conservation focus for increasing the marbled murrelet population is to increase habitat size and quality both on land and at sea. The pinto abalone is a large snail species that is listed as endangered at the state level, but not federal. Pinto abalone are extremely vulnerable to overharvest due to isolated populations, short larval period, and slow growth. 
They reproduce at irregular times and have low survival of offspring. Due to the abalone's life and reproduction cycle, it is prone to depletion when harvest is concentrated in one localized area. Many organizations are working to restore the pinto abalone by monitoring wild populations, captive breeding, and introducing captive bred abalone into wild populations. There are five species of Pacific salmon in Washington state. Four are listed as threatened or endangered. Pink salmon are the only species not listed under the ESA. Chum are listed as threatened, coho and chinook are endangered, and the sockeye populations are listed as both endangered and threatened. In the Snake River, they are endangered, and in the Ozette Lake, they are listed as threatened. Salmon are extinct in nearly 40% of their historic river habitat. Years of overfishing, habitat loss, and now climate change are resulting in declining salmon populations. To increase salmon populations, agencies are restoring salmon habitat by reconnecting and opening access to critical nursery streams. Organizations are also monitoring water quality health to improve the habitat. Probably the most charismatic endangered species of the Puget Sound is the southern resident killer whale. This beloved symbol of the Puget Sound is in decline due to three main reasons, lack of food, noise pollution, and chemical pollution. A southern resident killer whale's diet is almost exclusively salmon. With salmon populations declining, the killer whales are not able to find as much food. Noise pollution is making it harder for them to use echolocation to catch their prey. So when they do find what little food is out there, it's even harder for them to actually get it. Their food source is also full of toxins due to chemical pollution. Not only that, they are also swimming, living, and raising their young in polluted waters. You can help save endangered species. We can make a difference by learning more about endangered species, assist with habitat restoration, minimize the use of herbicides and pesticides on crops and home gardens, develop a backyard wildlife habitat, avoid purchasing products made from threatened or endangered species, make your home wildlife friendly, slow down when driving, recycle and buy sustainable products, report any harassment or shooting of threatened or endangered species, and most importantly, be an advocate for the plants and animals. Now we're going to see how well you know endangered species from around the world. I will say the name of a threatened or endangered animal and you will have to guess where it lives. First up is the snow leopard. Researchers are using AI to help track snow leopards because they are so well camouflaged and live in remote places. Where can you find the snow leopard? Snow leopards live in the Himalayas, which include countries such as China, Nepal, India, Pakistan, Russia, and Mongolia. Next, where can you find Galapagos penguins? These are warm loving penguins and don't have to worry about their eggs freezing. They live on Fernandina Island in the Galapagos Islands of South America. Where do mountain gorillas live? The mountain gorilla's habitat is limited to two protected national parks. They live in Uganda, Democratic Republic of Congo, and Rwanda. Where can we find polar bears? Polar bears live and hunt on ice. The frozen land that they inhabit literally means the circle with bears. The opposite is Antarctica, or the circle with no bears. They live in countries that ring the Arctic Circle, like Canada, Russia, the United States, Greenland, and Norway. Where would we see giant pandas? Giant pandas like the cool, wet mountains and eat bamboo. Giant pandas are only found in remote mountain regions of central China. Last one. Where can we find the Sumatran elephant? These elephants roam luscious lowland forest and not the dry plains. Sumatran elephants are only endemic to Sumatra, an Indonesian island. Endangered Species Day is the third Friday in May. And remember, to help globally, think locally. Help protect the plants and animals near your home. Thanks for joining us on another episode of Exploring with the Estuarium. If you liked our video, give it a thumbs up. And if you wish to continue to get more of our educational videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on Facebook at the Puget Sound Estuarium. Bye.